Hello, my friends. How are you doing? This is Coffee Chug, and I'm creating a new series here. One for my own learning, but then two just to help other people out as we have so many amazing options now for the LEGO EV3 Mindstorms. And so this first episode is this. We're going to be breaking this down one topic at a time. And what we're going to be doing by breaking down the topics is taking a look at the pros and cons, the benefits, and maybe the setbacks or limitations of these four different programming platforms that we now have for LEGO EV3 Mindstorms. And so we're going to take a look at LabVIEW. This is the software that comes with your LEGO EV3 Mindstorms, the stuff here that probably 99% of us use and will continue to use. Um, still my go-to platform. We also have MakeCode. So MakeCode now has, it's moved out of beta. It's been out of beta, but we can now code and make code our LEGO EV3 Mindstorms, um, as well as some other options that will be developing here soon. We have Scratch 3.0, which now has the extension block, which is right here. And then we also now have Python coding that we had it before, but you kind of had to hack the brick a little bit. But now we can do this really quite simply with a um, micro SD card. And so we're going to take a look at those four different options. And in this particular episode, we're going to take a look at how do we actually get the code to the brick. This is important because if you think about classroom spaces, um, and your devices and limitations and administrative rights and just there's so many things that every teacher has to deal with in some capacity um, we need just to be aware and so let's break this down and then this document will be freely available for anybody to add their thoughts to me so while I'm doing my learning I encourage you to come in and share your expertise your knowledge and insights and we can kind of build this crowdsource generated document that can help educators all over the world try to make the proper decision for which platform to use for the learning objectives we have um, with the Lego AV3 Mindstorms. So if we start with LabVIEW this is right here the software that comes with it we have two options. We have where we can plug the brick directly into your USB port with the mini USB hub that plugs into the PC port of your EV3 brick. And we can do the direct download with the download button. We also have, which a lot of people are aware of, but not everybody actually explores. And I'll put a link to the resource page um, in the show notes of this video of how to do this, you can also do Bluetooth. So you can see that I have Bluetooth turned on right now. The process is a little bit different whether you're on a PC or a Mac. So I'll just share the document so you can do it yourself. And this allows you to download your code without the cable. This is quite helpful um, if your ports of your bricks are starting to wear and tear over the time um, or you have just a, a room and the technology available you can just eliminate the cable and it's just easy then to code and download and run your programs um, really great for first lego league as well um, when you're using that um, for this particular option so when we look at labview in order to get our code that we write in labview to our brick we have usb and bluetooth we have both options um, we also have Bluetooth between the bricks as well. So what I mean by that is you can communicate between bricks. You can write code that allows you to uh, communicate. So we create joystick controls in our LEGO EV3 camps, and this is a great addition to have. You can have them communicate. You can daisy chain them. Um, and so you can do Bluetooth between bricks, and you have the option to do that coding. All right, so there's that. Now, when we take a look at MakeCode, and we jump in over here at what MakeCode can provide, and we're in the software, we have to use the USB cable. And the reason for that, and I'll show you how all that gets paired, um, is because you drag the code in your finder. You actually take the code and you would drag it over to the EV3. And I have a video on how to get up to speed, how to update your firmware, as you're seeing here, and plug that in. There is not a Bluetooth opportunity at this point. And so it, you have to use the USB cable um, when you get going. And so as we scroll down here, you can kind of see what will happen is you're going to drag, you'll drag your code over, um, even though this isn't the, the code portion. And so as you get going on that, 
that is important to note as well. So what I love about MateCode, you can use it for a lot of projects, but only USB, no Bluetooth. Scratch is the opposite. You can see down here that it requires your obviously your Wi-Fi and internet to write the code unless you have Scratch 3.0 downloaded and it requires Bluetooth. So when you go to click on adding this extension, all right, you can see uh, we've got to have the Scratch link installed. So this does require a download install. So that's just something you need to think about if you have permission how to get on your devices. But this Scratch link right here, okay, this has to be turned on. Once that's on, and then you can connect. It's going to ask you just to verify the pin and all that good stuff. And then you go to editor, um, and then you can download and run your code that way. Okay, so make code requires USB, scratch is Bluetooth. Python, I have not done a whole lot with, I'm going to be honest. I'm, this is my journey this summer to learn. Um, but you can see here in the guide, and I'll put this link in the show notes for you as well, requires the mini USB cable. So you have to also have a SD card, which is important to note as well to run the Python. So I'm going to put in here USB, and then I'm also going to require that put in here that it requires a micro SD card. All right, so... We've got to actually, let's just change this right here on the fly. So this is USB. There we go. Um, I'm just going to put additional download. Uh, this is just requires just the software. Make code. Uh, you need updated firmware on the bricks to 1.10e. Scratch, you have to install the scratch link and then python requires um, a micro sd python program and it also requires visual studio code and Visual Studio. So there you go. There are the things that we just you need to be thinking about as you're looking at these programs in terms of what you need. Some of your schools will allow you to have these downloads. Some won't. Some you have to put in tickets. So not all of these are just a quick turn on and go. So there you have it. This is just a quick overview of what is needed to download the code and any additional coding software thing packages that you need. In the next episodes, we will take a look at how to get it all paired, in which I have those videos ready to go, and I'll just share that with you next. In the meantime, if there's a topic or something you want added, just let me know, and we will get it added to the document, questions, thoughts, concerns, something that I'm missing or something that I'm wrong. And until next time, stay awesome.